In this video, we're going to show you how you can make your images move in CapCut for your PC or laptop. So if you need to add movement to your images, whether it's a zoom in or zoom out animation or something else, then just follow my steps and watch this video until the very end so you don't make any mistakes. I'm going to add two different photos in my timeline right here, and I'll add two different movement animations for each of my pictures. We can add movement and the zoom in or out effects by adding keyframes to the photo. Firstly, you want to go to the beginning of the image, and then we have to add the keyframe. We can add keyframes at the right side where we can see the scale and the X and Y positions. So just click on the little diamond icon next to the scale and position section, and the keyframe will be added to the beginning of our photo. The next step is to go to the end of the image and then drag the scale slider to the right side if you want to do a zoom in animation. So you can set the scale to 150, 200 or more percent, depending on how much you need to zoom into your photo. I'll set this to around 250%, and when you drag the slider to a certain value, the keyframe will automatically be added to the scale option. And you can then click on the image in your window and drag it up, down, to the left or right side. And that will also automatically add the keyframe to the position option. So we've added our keyframes, and when I play the video now, you can see that the image moves, and I have this cool little zoom in effect. You can add different movements to your photos in CapCut just by adding keyframes. You can zoom out, move the photo from the left side to the right, and all that other stuff. That's essentially how you can make your images move and add movement in CapCut for your PC. If this video helped you out, then make sure you leave a like on this video, and I'll see you in the next one.